There's a lot of confusion about the vaccination of dogs. For a long time it was thought that we needed to vaccinate them every year or they'd die of a dreadful viral disease. Um, your vet might even tell you that you need to vaccinate your dogs every year. Well this just isn't true. The science has moved on. In fact annual vaccination can be very harmful. It's overkill. Uh, there's scientific evidence to show that vaccines can cause brain damage, epilepsy, cancer, leukaemia, a vast range of autoimmune diseases like arthritis, diabetes, the list really does go on and on. So you really don't want to risk vaccines if they're not necessary. Now, uh, science has now shown that duration of immunity studies um, are able to tell us that once a dog is immune to viral disease, they are in fact immune for years or life. Now, is that me saying that? No. It's the World Small Animal Veterinary Association, the American Veterinary Medical Association, the American Animal Hospital Association, and also the Australian Veterinary Association. They're saying publicly that you do not need to vaccinate your dogs every year. So, what does the American Veterinary Medical Association actually tell us about annual vaccination? I'm just going to refer to a list here. The first point is that when you vaccinate, you stimulate antibodies, which then, um, from that point on, um, are generated by the body to combat viral disease. Now, once you've vaccinated, those antibodies are there. If you vaccinate again, the antibodies are just going to fight the vaccine. So you're not really achieving much. Now, what the AVMA says is that antibody titers are not boosted and more memory cells are not induced. And in their words, no additional protection is provided. You're actually wasting your time revaccinating an already immune dog. Now, they also say that there is no scientific justification to back up the label claims for either annual or even three yearly vaccination. Once a dog is immune, they're immune for years or life. They add that um, unnecessary vaccines are harmful and you can minimise the side effects and the adverse reactions by refraining from keeping on boosting your dog. So you might be asking, how can you be sure that your pet isn't actually at risk if you don't vaccinate annually? Uh, the answer to that is that you can't. Nobody is going to guarantee that your dog is going to be immune. Uh, <clears throat> The problem is that there are no guarantees even if you do vaccinate every year. Vaccines aren't 100% effective and in fact in our survey which we conducted in, in the 90s um, we found that a high percentage of dogs who came down with viral disease did so shortly after they were vaccinated. Uh, the problem with this is that vaccines can, and especially modified live virus vaccines which your dog will be getting, um, they, they actually can cause the diseases you're, you're trying to prevent. So there's no guarantees. What you can do is ask the vet to do a titer test. And that's a little, uh, a small blood test that measures circulating antibody. And uh, that will give you some indication that there is immunity. It has to be said that some dogs will never develop immunity. It uh, doesn't matter how many times you vaccinate them, they will not become immune. Uh, so again, there's no guarantee. So if you do want to vaccinate your dog, then the top advice is that you can vaccinate them as puppies. And then you can give the first year's booster just to make sure that there's immunity there. And then after that, there's very unlikely to be a need to vaccinate again. Now you may be in a country where you are required by law to vaccinate your dog against rabies. In some places it's every year and in others it's every three years. 
um, I guess that's the law. But you perhaps will be pleased to know that Dr. Jean Dodds over in America is conducting a rabies challenge trial and uh, hopefully at the end of that she'll be able to show that the rabies vaccine is good for at least seven years. And once again, the important point is not really how much you're paying for those unnecessary vaccines, but the side effects and even life-threatening side effects that may arise when you vaccinate and you don't even need to.